continue on with our wall tool here, back in plan view, we can go to this next mode here, which will allow us to, what I can do is left click, and I can drag out a distance here, I could type out a distance, say a radius of 8 feet, hit enter, and then I'm able to scribe out however much uh, of a circular portion of the wall I want. So let's suppose here I'll just hit tab and enter 270 and hit enter. And that's going to create a wall that goes around, of course, counterclockwise. When we're talking about angles in most CAD programs, we're always going to be going counterclockwise. So in this case, 270 degrees of a circle, circle we've created in a circular wall. You can also create a wall using three points here. So let's draw on the left click once, twice, and then three times, and then I'm able to use those three points to establish my arc. And another one in here, actually let's get a couple of lines in here. Here and here. And notice here, we can pay attention, if we have trouble with our tools, we can pay attention to our status bar here. And what we're going to do is go back into the wall tool. And I'm going to go into this last mode here. And it's going to say, circumference for arc or wall, or linear edge for tangency. It wants to enter a point. Uh, so what we can do is we can click once here click on this line here and click on this line here and you can see that our wall intersects those points of tangency. That's just a, another way to draw a circular wall. Let's get back into the wall tool here. Moving along we have this portion of wall right here which is called the trapezoid wall. And when you first draw one it just looks like a regular wall. But you'll notice when you have the trapezoid wall selected, we have a new option if we scroll, scroll over here to the right, that we can enter some distance here. First we have a starting width, and I'm going to make that 4 inches, and then we'll have an ending width, and I'll make that 2 feet. So when I draw out my wall now, you can see we start out at 4 inches, and we end up at 2 feet. And here are those walls in 3D. If I hit F3 on the keyboard, going back, F2. So let's scroll back. And now we have this tool here, which is, which is a, a really great tool, particularly if you have to draw an oddly shaped wall. So this will basically allow us to draw any shape of wall. So I can kind of go in here, let's go into the middle of our circle here and just start left-clicking some points here. And you never know what kind of wall you'll need, so we've just created a wall in this shape. Let's go take a look at it in 3D. So here's our wall, and the great thing about this is if we have another wall, say this wall here, and we'll learn about stretching walls here in a bit, and this wall goes all the way up to this other wall here, those walls can intersect, even though these walls are totally different objects, they have totally different shapes, they all intersect with each other, and they all connect and sort of heal themselves, if you will. So here you can see how this looks in 3D. In plan view, everything cleans up as it should. 